الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله the collection of أحاديث بلوغ مرام by Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani رحمه الله تعالى is a phenomenal collection which many ulama of Ahl sunnah have explained in the Shurahat and we want to give this book justice and begin a study of some of the ahadith some of the abwab in this great collection beginning with Kitab al-Tahara and the first hadith is a hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The Prophet ﷺ said regarding the sea, its water is purifying and its dead animals are lawful to eat. And this was collected in Sunan al-Arba. Ibn Abi Shaiba also reported it. And Ibn Khuzayma said, and Tirmidhi graded it as Sahih. In this hadith, in the longer ver version of this hadith, a man came to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Innama O Inna Narkabal Bahar wa nahmu ma'ana qalil min al ma fa in tawadatna bihi atishna afana tawadu min ma al bahar. So a man came to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, Verily we travel on the sea and we take with us very little water and if we make wudu with this water purification for prayer we become thirsty should we is it permissible for us to make wudu purification with the sea water the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam responded Alma tuhur al hillu maitruhu. That the water is pure and the creatures that die in it, meaning those sea creatures that die in it, are hill. They're halal. They're lawful for us to eat. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We learn many, many benefits. And from amongst those benefits, one is that of course, the seawater, regardless of whether it's salt water or fresh water, it is pure and you can make wudu. It is tahur. It means you can make wudu from it, not just that it's clean, but that it's pure to where you can use it for tahara for removing najasa meaning that it would be permissible for you to make ghusl from the sea and of course make wudu from the sea and it would be sufficient for someone just to have the niya to make intention in their heart say bismillah and jump in the sea and some ulama they say to make mud mud instant shock to wash out the mouth and the nose and that will be sufficient as ghusl so this are some of the brief ahkam from that hadith and we'll continue on making a brief study of this chapter and perhaps even more wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad